Hey guys, RFBoom here. Today we're going to run through something that I get requested a fair bit, and that's how to mod your electronic automatic gearbox in your Commodore. Everyone who does burnouts in stock standard Commodores knows that the electronic auto likes to go into the next gear. Despite you having the selector stuck in first, you'll actually go into second, which is really frustrating. So, what I've got is a solution that I've researched on the internet and tried and tested several times on several different cars. All it takes, a 30 cent diode, from JCAR and four wires at your ECU. So we'll be doing this in a VR Calais today, yet again for another burnout car. I haven't really tested this on street cars as to what the longevity result of your gearbox having this mod is done, but for all the burnout cars I've done, it's worked perfectly fine. It applies for V6s and V8s, and I'll do all the pinouts of different colors for those different models in the comments below. So, yeah, let's go mod a gearbox and make it hold gear so we can hit some limit by doing a burnout. Alright, here we are. Here's the vehicle we're going to do the gearbox mod on to today. It's a December 94 VR Calais. So it's got the Series 2 Buick motor. The electronic gearbox. So this is where we're going to be doing all the work. Down here in this kick panel. Alrighty, so the first thing we're going to do is get to the ECU. I'm just going to rip this thing out. There we go. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is unplug the two plugs that go into the ECU. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is unplug the wires from the ECU. A little bit of a wiggle. Alright, and they're free. Alrighty. Alright. So as part of getting to the wires we need to, we can take a bit of the black tape off. So then we get a little bit of slack on the wires that we're going to cut and join together later on. Don't need a whole lot, but we just need a little bit more access. Alright. So we're looking at the second plug in this instance first. And we're going to locate pin A2. And we're looking for a yellow and black trace wire because this is a VR Calais so it's a VR so as you can see here yellow and black we we'll cut him all good and then we're also going to go A3 which should be a light green wire so here we are A3 definitely the right one cool Hopefully you can see those numbers I'm referring to. Cool, so we've cut the yellow with the black trace and the light green. Now we're going to row B. B3 should be a yellow wire, which is this one. And then B4 is a tan wire for VR. Cool, so these are the four wires that we're going to be dealing with. And we're dealing with the wires heading to the gearbox, not to the ECU. Feed this one back out. Cool, alright. Strip them back. Alright, put a little twist on them and now we're going to start joining them in the order that we need to. So the light green with the yellow wire, light green with the yellow, twist them together. So the tan wire with the yellow with the black trace. All right, so now we're to the stage of putting the diode in. So on the diode, there's a silver banded side. And then there is the non-silver banded side. This one's a little bit worn out because it's been traveling around with me, but we're gonna connect the silver banded side of the diode to the brown, yellow, uh, yellow, black plate. Yeah, the yellow with black trace tan wire. It's going to go on the silver banded side and the other side to this one. 
Now, I'm going to do it the lazy way and just use some cable crimpers. So, slide him on there. Squash that on there. Nice and snug. This one. Feed him in there. Cool. Snug enough. So then you can take this back up, make it nice and tidy, plug it back in, and start doing burnouts in the gear you select on the selector. Alrighty. So we're going to do the gearbox mod. All the tools we need. Strippers. The diode, and this one's actually a bit more clearly, you can actually see it's actually got a silver band on it. IN5408 So that's the model Gonna crimp it and we've got some cutters got my set of instructions and Yeah, we'll go back down to here Start pulling it apart do the gearbox mod So you can see it's actually 11 and 12. 11 is the brown yellow, and 12 is the yellow. And on this connector, we have B1 and A2. So B1 being our light green, A2 being our yellow black. So light green goes to solenoid A. Yellow black goes to solenoid B. And on this connector, those other ones that I was doing, the brown yellow goes to switch A and yellow goes to switch B. So these are the four important ones that are going to join to the diode.